before everybody assembles, I'll tell you about Idlewild. It was um, founded in uh, 1912, and uh, it was um, it was founded by four white men who saw an opportunity, uh, not because they loved black people, but it was an opportunity to make money. There was nowhere that professional black people could go for a vacation in this country because of segregation. And so they bought up acreage and uh, sold it through a black couple, a man and his wife. She did most of the selling, I think. She was uh, the primary realtor. And they sold lots uh, originally out, out of Chicago. There were a lot of people that came in a rickety looking bus from Chicago and looked at uh, just nothing but forest land and they could buy lots. And um, by around 1920, uh, a lot of people had come in and they, they stayed in, first of all, they stayed in tents and they stayed in little little houses that looked like overgrown dog houses. And to this day, people call them the dog houses. They're, they're all gone now. But people that came uh, and liked it then um, bought land and built cottages and uh, generations of, of families have been coming ever since. Our, our family is in our its fifth generation. And uh, well, with Maasai now, it's our sixth generation. And one of my friends, uh, a couple years ago, they hit generation six coming to the cottage. Some of uh, my friends come from California, Florida, uh, all over. But originally, most people were either Chicago or Detroiters. And we're Columbus, Ohio. So people from everywhere. And it's wonderful. And the friendships, it's just like, well, mom was AKA, like a vice president. And, um, and my Aunt Tilly was Delta. It's a friendship that lasts for your whole lifetime. Dad was uh, Alpha. And, uh, you know, it's precious. And that's what Idlewild is like. The friendships that we made from early childhood are still our friends today.